school of thought because to some extent some evaluate some evaluation tool could be developed even in earlier grades because students can answer the question. As a teacher your answers your questions, <coughs> speak clearly with it. You always hear what teachers say. I, I know it's very difficult. I'm not trying to just suggest specific questions, but but you know, this is not. Uh, I, I, I believe that the, these students from high school come to me as freshmen, and yes, they evaluate me three months later, and these evaluations are part of my evaluation package, how, how they look at how, how I'm doing in the class. So, at least in high school, they are certainly ready to answer some of these questions in terms of what teachers do, uh, in terms of, um, in terms of explaining the material correctly, following the uh, syllabus, and things of this type of this, this nature. This is at my level. So I can imagine that you could, you could probably do something very similar so in high school, and I can imagine that even in middle school, talking to kids, they have, sometimes you, you, you hear them having pretty good thoughts about things which are done right, they can appreciate things which are done well, and they could, this cannot be okay, well, the, the average score from students in your third grade, you got X, and again you look into the table, and, and it will be more looking at the type of comments which, which you have from the students. I would not discount that. Can I comment on that? Yes, please. Because I also teach at the college level, and my students evaluate me. Um, there are pitfalls in that system, and if they're not recognized, then the system is becomes meaningless. I taught a course in real estate law. I've been a real estate broker since 1968. Uh, they rate the professor between zero and five. I had 20 students rate me on 20 categories and they all rated me five in every category. So I was the top professor in the college that semester. And when the, the dean recognized that, the dean says, I think you should be teaching a course in salesmanship because you obviously sold students. Didn't say anything about educating them, but I sold the students. The next semester, the same class which was open to high school students. I had high school students in the class and they wrote me up very bad. Mr. Wright, we suggest that you should give us time in the class instead of lecturing us, give us time to do our homework because we shouldn't have to do our homework at home. So the student is evaluating the teacher in a manner that the student of what they want to get out of the class and that may be not the best measure. Mr. Bogdanovich, could I just quickly, as a point of information, you had made a comment about um, making sure that the evaluations will be a tool uh, for merit pay, and I know Bill and I have talked about this. Um, because the state is working on this, um, the most recent regents Board of Regents minutes, I want to say October, um, they discussed working on a model that we're going to need to reference. And because she is in favor of merit pay, I'm assuming that model that we're going to also reference will give us some guidance to make sure that this in fact. So think, as Ms. Herman just suggested, that linking that to merit pay or linking that to, to some sort of incentive <laughs> is an extremely important aspect of making this an effective program. I don't disagree with you, but would you agree that the most difficult piece of this is the evaluation, because this mm -hmm. is basically, first, defining the criteria, defining the process, how you are going to evaluate people based on these criteria, and then knowing how someone performed based on particular criteria, this can be translated to bonus or salary increase or whatever it is. I'm not trying to say that we are not, that, that we are discounting the value of those, but you hopefully agree that this piece of evaluation has to be built in order 
to execute the second step. Here is how you performed. And now, yes, I have money. Here is how you are going to be rewarded for that. With this money in hand, without this evaluation piece, there's nothing to talk about because well, I'm not distribute this money. I agree, but my and I think we're in I think we're in agreement. My my point, and maybe it's a fine one, suggests that the evaluation tool, in the absence of some in, in some in, of some incentive, would dilute the value of the entire program. But I think we agree. Mm -hmm. And I, w I would suggest that there um, are other incentives um, than just money. A as Mrs. Black said, she as a, an educator would not have been motivated uh, by a monetary reward, even of $1,500 or $2,000. Um, I think teachers would like recognition, um, even just being named uh, teacher of the year for their building or for their grade level, I think that would actually be much more appreciated by teachers than a monetary reward, which we probably couldn't publicize. Um, so if we could link that kind of incentive or reward program <coughs> to our evaluations, and that would not necessarily uh, cost us anything. We could name a teacher of the year in the building or in a grade or in a subject area, celebrate that teacher, write up um, something for the newspaper on just what this teacher does to go above and beyond. And, and that teacher would then serve as a model for other teachers in the district uh, as well. It, it, does not, it does not discount in any way what you were saying, Mr. Mills. <laughs> but we agree that we have to have this piece in place some meaningful evaluation. Um, I don't know, I, I cannot certainly support the evaluation piece which is based on, oh, here's a test score, so that's what you get. Or saying, well, okay, the whole school s school scored in Mass X and in English Y, let's have some formula how to combine those, and based on that, the whole school gets or does not get a bonus. I, I don't think we can be that simplistic. So, if we do, in a meaningful way, this evaluation piece, that I'm certainly in support of <coughs> linking this to money at some point, if money is available, but at the same time, if money in some, in some year, like for example this year, money is not available, well, then as a minimum, for example, the recognitions, which Mrs. Herman here mentioned, if they're still feasible if we have the, if we have the evaluation piece. So it is not that, oh, okay, let's just forget about that thing. It's, I, I strongly believe it makes sense. I agree that it, it, that it, it does make sense to start with the evaluation tool yeah. and then to follow on work to link that to some sort of incentive. Because I do believe that if we ask Mrs. Parker, you know, being named Teacher of the Year and here's $1,500, which of those two are more meaningful, you know, Teacher of the Year would have, you know, more meaning to her? And I think we should but uh, but I would also add I that she wouldn't turn that fifteen hundred bucks away. We should invite her to be on the, to, to your office to be on the uh, evaluation team. That would be a welcome addition. Thank you. That would be Thank you. What is the approximate time frame for the evaluation committee? Well, our, we have to have our first meeting because we're waiting for this meeting. Probably within the next couple of weeks, we'll see what everyone's schedule is. There's now nine members, so and we'll call a meeting together and go over what was said here and begin the process. I'm sorry, I meant the actual until we had an end product. There has there been no, the year the, and a half, how long uh, optimistically it would be May, June, but if, if you want to really. Could do something that make that longer than that. Well, so